Happy, happy Wednesday. How we doing? Good to see y'all. Thanks for being here. Another Wednesday night live stream. It's going to be a good Whiskey Wednesday. We got a lot of Buffalo Trace tonight. A lot of Buffalo Trace. How are you all doing? Thanks for being here. We got a lot of people in the chat already. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming early, as usual. You know, this is the only time you're allowed to come early. Tonight, Whiskey Wednesday. ADHD Whiskey in the house. How you doing, brother? Jason, the Mash and Drum. Good to see you. Brandon Wise, DJ Beacon, Doug Tempest, Richie Z, Brian Butler, Will Henderson, <sighs> Anthony Orlando, good to see you, Andrew Spirell, Wheels, how are you? Thank you all for coming in, really. Uh, we've got a nice little Buffalo Trace lineup, you know. One Lost Cause was the first one in here, by the way. How are you doing, brother? Linux Cat, um, yeah, Linux Cat said he's bringing his wife down to Jason's meetup. Sounds like I'm going to be doing the same. I'm trying to talk Mrs. Bourbon Sane into coming with. It'll be a, just make a nice long weekend out of it. Um, so it's pretty much 100%. I'm going to be at Jason's meetup on April 25th, I believe it is, down in Kentucky. So I, if any of you can make it, please come down. I'd love to meet you all. Um, it's going to be a fun gathering. So I'm really looking forward to it. Cool runnings. Scary peeper I may have called you out already, but that's all right. We get some water. Oh, I had to run down here. So again, last minute. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious water. So, coronavirus has officially hit Michigan now. Um, work's starting to freak out a little bit. You know, we have no hand sanitizer. We have no um, alcohol wipes. We have no... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, face masks. We have no face masks either. So, it's been a little rough go at the, uh, the old pharmacy. Um, people need their drugs still. You know, people still go out every day, come see me five times a day. So <laughs> some people aren't scared, but some are. Anyway, uh, back back on topic here. So we're doing mash bill one. Oh, sh damn it. I was gonna include this overlay that showed the different mash bills. I don't have it now. Oh, it's somewhere on my computer, but mash bill one. So mash bill one is the lower rye mash bill that Buffalo Trace has. So less than 10%. Typically, like, mash bill 2 is going to be a little bit higher, rye, but still not that high rye. I mean, like, 16, 12 to 16 percent, maybe, is what they estimate. They don't disclose their mash bill, so... Oh, Dustin, thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I would, too, but uh, I, don't, I don't have any. I don't have any, so... I, yeah, I would. <laughs> um, oh, he'd be in Dublin on April 25th. Oh, oh you poor thing. I hope it's um hope it's business and uh, or not business. I hope it's not business. I hope it's pleasure. I hope you I hope it's like a vacation or something. You know, Guy Davis, how you doing? Jim Mueller, good to see you. And uh, bad weather freak, how how are you? Uh, mash bill one. So we're doing mash bill one tonight. This is lower rye, easier, even less rye than mash bill two. So mash bill two are things like our Blantons, Elmer T. Lee, Hancock Reserve. Those types of things, you know, a lot of sought after stuff really in Mash Bill 2, but Mash Bill 1 is things like um, what you see here Benchmark, E.H. Taylor, Eagle Rare, Buffalo Trace, Stag Jr., you know, George T. Stag, that's all Mash Bill 1. So it, it'll be um, it'll be fun. You know, we'll do a Mash Bill 2 night at some point too. But I was getting a lot of shit over on Discord. You know, I was over on Discord, we were talking. And people were not happy about Buffalo Trace night. You know, honestly, it was kind of an uprising. Kind of an uprising because nobody can get Buffalo Trace. Jason Coates, you were one of them. You know. We were talking about it. And Buffalo Trace is hard to get. Uh, not just Buffalo Trace, but Buffalo Trace anything is hard to get. Oof. That's a hefty pour, but this is uh, this is low proof. This is uh, 80%. Benchmark old number eight. Now, I think I think this benchmark used to have an eight-year eight age statement. I know the um, the old charter next to it used to, for sure, but um, I think the old number eight used to have the age, eight-year age statement. Uprising, yeah, it, it is quotes, uprising. It was an uprising. It was like three people talking to me on Discord, so it wasn't much of an uprising, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> Defend me. This just, like, Buffalo Trace just smells like Buffalo Trace. You know what I mean? Eight as in proof. You're pretty damn. You're pretty damn close, DJ. You're pretty damn close about that. This label's all beat to hell. I actually I was doing a lot of work this summer on um like at a buddy's house, and I just put this in the cooler 
and this was like my summer whiskey. I was just sipping as we were working, so it's a little bit beat up, but I got like a quarter bottle left. It, all Buffalo Trace is just Buffalo Trace. Like, it's just Buffalo Trace profile. You know, you guys know what that is. You've got to know. If you've had a Buffalo Trace product, it's that profile. It's like way sweeter than other distilleries. I, the way I describe Benchmark is, I really do think it's a good intro whiskey for, I mean, for new to bourbon drinkers. Now, keep in mind, this is like $13. Now, if you can find, I was going to ask you guys too, like this whole lineup here, can you, I know a lot of you probably can't find Stag Jr. and E.H. Taylor, but like for me locally, I can get Eagle Rare and Buffalo Trace anytime I want still in Michigan, thank goodness. And these two as well, you know, Benchmark, I know in other parts of the country is still an alloc is actually an allocation, which is ridiculous. So I'm curious if you guys can pick up this kind of stuff right away, or if you would have to actually seek out like a Benchmark, you know, Benchmark sub $20 for a handle. So really good deal. David Hatton, how you doing, brother? Soft, sweet oak, Dustin says. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's just approachable. It's The benchmark reminds me of just like some brown sugar poured into a very, very sweet oak barrel. <laughs> Bernie D, how you doing? Bernie was here earlier, too. Bernie is an absolute legend. Let me just say real quick. Um, he hooked me up big time. And I'm going to have a review coming out very soon of what he provided. And you will get another shout out during that video, brother. Thank you so much. Um... Yeah, Bernie D. It's it's all you know. It's all allocated stuff now. Buffalo Traces. Mm. Benchmark any day of the week. So maybe Benchmark is more available. I this was actually like a year and a half ago. Old Old Charter Eight. Every time I say Charter, I think Charter. Old Charter Distillery is what I keep trying to. <laughs> my mind is going. Uh, this I actually had to look for a little bit, but then after I found it, then I I found it everywhere. So, yeah. Not a problem, Linux cat. You take care of that, that woman of yours. I told my wife, I was like, it's going to be awesome. You know, she's she's going down just to pretty much babysit me, make sure I'm okay, you know, on the trip is what she said. Because I still can't be trusted on uh, on whiskey trips, apparently. But uh, <laughs> but I said, hey, there's going to be a lot of really cool people down there. And I know some people are bringing their wives, too. So I figured she'd have a great time meeting, meeting them, too. You know, like, honestly, when I hung out with Dan and Sean... Bourbon Junkies at um, Detroit. You know, we did Valentine Distillery Tour. We hung out afterwards. Sean brought Gabby, and she loved it. My wife loved it. She was actually, like, drinking whiskey, not cringing at all. Now when I, I try to give her anything, and she just, like, Ugh. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram today, but I uh, I actually poured her some Papa's Pilar rum. It's a store pick rum, which tastes literally like just toasted marshmallows. So I was like, if there's something that's gonna she's going to like, it's going to be this. It, Toasted marshmallows, literally. Nope. Um, an añejo tequila from El Mejor. Mejor? I don't know. I don't. I know nothing about tequila, so you'll have to excuse me. But um, I don't know where the bottle is. Porter, that she um, she did. I mean, she hated it still, but not as much as the bourbons. Then I poured her two other bourbons, which was Jim Beam Black. And a Buffalo Trace store pick that's like really, really sweet. The sweetest Buffalo Trace store pick I thought I might, I'd have. And she just, she hated the bourbons. It really hurt my heart, hurt my soul. Hated the bourbons. Um, she tolerated the tequila and the rum. She got it down. But like with bourbon, she just, I don't know, man. She couldn't do it. Could not do it. Oh, El Loco Coco. How are you? Nick Foles, good to see you. I saw your name in here earlier, too. And Malachi Reeves, thank you for coming in. Kyle Rawson, you too. Tough to find benchmark anywhere, yep. Um, Nick Foles asks, what's my favorite Four Roses recipe? <sighs> oh, man. You know, honestly, I don't have a huge amount of experience with um, a whole bunch of variations of the Four Roses. I mean, I've tried all 10 recipes because I was lucky enough to go to a tasting where we got to do that. But... Even each single barrel pick you get, even within the same recipe, is going to be is going to taste completely different. You know, at that tasting, we tried multiple of the same recipes um, afterwards after the tasting was done, and they were completely different. So it really it all depends. I'd say in general, the ones I tend to go for are actually the normal OBSBs. So the higher rye mash bill, and it's just well balanced to me. You know, I don't get a, any kind of off-putting notes. 
Some of them come like really minty forward, which is tough for people. I, I don't mind the minty, like the ride kick with the minty notes, but it literally can be to like chewing gum mint uh, for sometimes for some of those picks. So I'd say OBSV, the barrel strength picks, of course, the ones I've had have been my favorites, I think. <sighs> it just smells good. It, it smells like brown sugar. Brown sugar and cherry. Ben Demon Hunter, how are you doing? Hey, thank, thank you for listening, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Better to be safe than sorry. You don't want to be watching while you're driving. Andrew Kelly says, I feel your pain. I can't even get my wife to smell my bourbons. <laughs> Much less try them. I know. I know. She does. She smells them. Like, I, 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 I gotta, I gotta do something, man. I've taken suggestions from all you guys and girls, you know, like what, what do I give her to transition her? You know, and it's just, everything has failed. I, everything has failed. We did the live stream with Bobby and Sam. We did the whiskey couple pairing. Um, couples we of course i had her try 16 whiskeys that night that was my problem but she um she did well she didn't make too many i mean she made faces but she wasn't like oh, like she's with me now all the time you know smell it leave a glass out overnight all right you got it i know dj yeah we did it angels envy rum cask yeah i <laughs> oh god i gave it the tullamore dew um Caribbean rum finish, which is just garbage, by the way. So it was the first time I had opened it too. So I tried it at the same time for the first time, but literally, literally garbage. I hate that. I hate that whiskey. That's going to be one of my punishment whiskeys um, next time we do a collab or, or something because it is tough, man. She'll take sips. <laughs> I think she just gets jealous. <laughs> she hardly ever drinks anything. Hmm. George Link says, uh, newbie, love the channel. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Wife was easing the bourbon with crown apple and ginger mixers. And I literally just had uh, Jimmy Daniels on Facebook today say, start her out with Jim Beam peach and, um, and ginger beer. Like that combination. I think she can tolerate that. You know, it's lower proof. It's in a cocktail still technically. And she loves peach flavored stuff, you know. So, yeah, I'll do it. Start with the flavored, move up, you know. Brian Butler, you are fortunate. That is very fortunate. Jason, I did try scotch. Actually, during Bobby and Sam's live, the um, the monkey shoulder was the most well-tolerated of them all. That was... I, no, she tried Ardbeg at the end, which was terrible. She, <laughs> she shouldn't have done that. But um, monkey shoulder was the most well-tolerated compared to bourbon. She, she seemed to like that. She's like, oh, I could tolerate that. So I, I might bring her back with some scotch and see what she thinks. If... Um, if she likes if she likes scotch and like actually starts to like scotch, it's gonna be a real problem. Like I, she we're gonna have I need to build another wall already. But if she starts drinking too, I don't know. I'd have a scotch scotch wall and a bourbon wall. Goals, man. Goals. Yeah, some people do. They got that that, that floral earthy scotch. Scotch Tooth. Change the channel name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it'd have to just be Whiskey Insane at that point. With the E in parentheses. So that we do anything we want. Hmm. I feel like tonight's just going to be a lot of hanging out and chatting, guys. Um, I, we'll, we'll drink our Buffalo Trace stuff, of course. But I'm just talking about random crap right now. So I'm sorry. I'm not giving you any tasting notes. So those of you who are here for that, I'm sorry. Whiskey Sane. <laughs> yeah. Deanston 12. I did make her an old fashioned and she she liked it more than obviously neat, but she still was not on not too on board. Mark Saliba, that was the last thing she tried on the live stream with Bobby and Sam. She did try some art bag and she She hated it. She hated it. Got that right, Steve. Whisk Sane. Oh, Whisk Sane. Oh, you're right. Whisk Sane. Welcome to Whisk Sane. I don't know, Dustin. You think so? I don't know. Whisk. Sounds like a cooking show. I'm 
Maybe a baking show. Hmm. Not too bad. It's underproofed. It's low proof, but uh, Dalton came in with a super chat. It says, um, "What should I get next? Double next double oak or nineteen ten? Let's assume they're same price because they probably are. I would get the nineteen ten myself. Although double oak is fantastic. It depends on where you are in your whiskey journey, your bourbon journey. Uh, shout out, Scott. William Devler, how you doing? Thanks for coming in, brother. Um." They're both good. You're not going to go wrong either way. I think if, you, if you're if you used to whiskey and you've drank whiskey, you, you're kind of just used to the flavor profile now, I would go for the 1910. It's more rich flavor, more complex, more depth to it. But if you're newer and you're kind of branching out from like, say, base Woodford Reserve, I would just go right to the double oaked because it's definitely a step up, you know, and it gives you a lot more of that creamy, delicious vanilla ice cream note. But it's not as complex as the 1910, I don't think. But they're both good. Yeah, you're not going to go wrong with either one. Um, I've got these recycled Super Chats, guys. So we'll, we'll, we'll throw some Super Chats up here, but I don't know where I left off. 120. There it goes. There it goes. Damn it! I almost made it. I appreciate it. appreciate all the Super Chats. Um, we're going to be putting new Super Chats together. i got to go through and edit my 25 Dreams of Christmas stuff I did. i got to start editing some of these live streams down where I say stupid stuff or do stupid stuff. So I should have some more super chat stuff coming soon. Uh, for now, you're gonna have to just enjoy the bathrobe and the the uh, the, the Jason get together ones. I like those. Mm. All right, let's pour number two. Yeah. Um, old charter, old charter. I don't think I've had this, honestly. I'm trying to remember. I may have had it at a bar once or at maybe at a buddy's house. Um, but I I don't think I've had this, which is crazy. Because a lot of people say, hey, this is a really good bottle to start with. Again, is um, 40, 40%. Look, 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 look. It actually looks a little bit darker than the benchmark does. I do like the look of the bottle though. It looks like it could almost be, like if I saw that thing sitting on the shelf and it was dusty, I would think it's an actual dusty, you know? Ooh. Got a lot more oak on it than, this does not smell like Buffalo Trace. Interesting. I whiskey, she wines. How you doing? We were just talking about you guys. Talking about me and the wife. Me and the wife doing the uh, the old let's find a whiskey she likes live stream, but she hates it. She hates it all. She hates it. Uh, this is definitely much more, much more. Um, Trevor Wilson, how you doing? Top shelf. You too. How you doing, brother? Um, it's uh, it's much more like old old oak. You know, it smells like an eight year bourbon. Which I'm sure it's not. Not at 15 bucks for this, I think it was. I want to say. What is that nose? What is that? It reminds me a little bit of I.W. Harper 15. It's got that um, fruitiness. Like, it's got the fruitiness, but it's also got that drying kind of musty funk, funky wood note. Dustin, you know what I'm talking about. It's in here. Where is that son of a bitch bottle? Mind the short. Sorry, guys. Crotch shot. Crotch shot. It's much more, um, much more deep. It's the same, it's the same flavor profile, though. Yeah, it's much more mellowed. Much more mellowed. This bottle, by the way, is way better than it was when I first got it. <laughs> Our IW Harpers were not the same. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. That is the, actually the same nose, though. It's kind of that, like, old... I, I don't know. It, it's, it's still really sweet, you know? It's sweet cherry, butterscotch, but it's got that, that wood undertone. Almost like a really old wood undertone. Joseph Brazu in the house. How you doing? Good to see you, brother. Joseph is another legend, by the way. He he hooked me up with a Woodenville bottle. 
It's another one I'm going to be reviewing very soon. Um, I couldn't be more appreciative of that, man. Really, thank you so much. Harper noses like old musty oak. Thank you, Brian. That's what I've been saying the whole time. I've been saying that the whole time. And Dustin's like, you have a bad bottle. Your bottle's bad. Get a new bottle. I'll I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> you got that right, Whiskey Straight Al. Kiss me, I'm Irish. Or drunk or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's um it's it's Irish month. It is. St. Patty's Day is around the corner. I gotta bring out the Irish. I did like actual Irish month last when I first started, but that was pretty much when the channel was starting, so I didn't really do Irish this month. Um I've got plans with the um the single barrel bracket coming up. Which, for those of you that weren't here last week, I'm sure most of you were. Let me go ahead and show this. Or if you haven't seen my new... What the hell? Well, this is broken, apparently. I can't go back. Looks like we're stuck on this screen forever. It's broken. <laughs> Literally broken. Nope. Nope, it's not going to work. That's fine. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> deal with it later. We're at a standstill. I haven't touched your harper in a while. I, th I think it is better halfway through the bottle, like where I am now, you know? <laughs> I just read Joseph's comment. Anyone want to guess where I'm supposed to be tonight? <laughs> Yeah, that could be actually, Jason. Not anymore though. They uh they put a, a stopper on the old NCAA tournament with the fans. No more. Hmm. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. I probably prefer it to benchmark, honestly. Nose is pretty good. Pretty good. Um, single barrel pick of the antique has cork, not a cap. Yes, the um, the well, old, old weller antique. The new gold tops are caps now instead of screw tops. I don't even have any gold tops short of my foolproof pick, um, which I don't have, not, have not opened yet, but... Yeah, the Big Ten tournament. It's going to be so weird. I heard the uh, Golden State Warriors also announced they're not having fans watch their games. So it's just going to be the player, players playing and maybe like very, very close family. That's going to be crazy to watch on TV. There'll be like no cheering when they score. It's going to be like watching a scrimmage. So weird. It's going to it's gonna make the tournament really weird too. Like I'll, I'll still be watching, of course, but like without the crowd and... I mean, what are the cameramen going to do? They're not going to show the, the crowd cheer. They're just going to show... I don't know, the announcers maybe? <laughs> Damn, man, it's going to be terrible. Terrible! Hmm. Oh, Detroit Whiskey Festival got postponed. Yeah, I heard that too, actually. Man, cancel the event. <laughs> I doubt it, Dustin, because I'm sure they're going to keep doing what they're doing. I'm still putting out a very small amount. You think Buffalo Trace was sick of a-holes hoarding bottles and saying, fine, let's use horrible corks to ruin it after after 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with cork. That's for sure. Yeah, it sucks, Joe. I'm sorry, man. That's rough. It, it's everywhere, though. They're canceling stuff everywhere. Guarantee you I will still be at work. They will never let me not go to work. That's a promise. You want your drugs? I got you covered. They will not. No way in hell. The college literally right next to my work is like canceling classes right now. I think they're going to try to do all online if they can. So like uh, we, we had a, a case or two confirmed in Michigan. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where things go, I guess. But it's it's a rough go out there right now. Um, let's go Buffalo Trace next. You got the drugs, let's talk. <laughs> America. That was bad. That was just bad. Ooh, by the way, um, speaking of America and ADHD whiskey, 
He is going to be live on Jason's live stream with Jason on his live stream very soon. Um, 9 p.m. right after I'm done. So we're all going to go over there and check it out. But they're talking about the, um, a Saint, it's going to be a St. Patrick's Day episode or an Irish episode. But they're going to be talking about the, the luck, the luck they've had with getting bottles or just luck in the whiskey game. You know, I'm a, I'm a firm believer, honestly, in, in bourbon and whiskey karma. It's real. Like it is actually real. Um... People have been so kind sharing whiskey with me. Whenever someone shares like samples with me or bottles with me, I always try to pay it forward. Um, a lot of it happens locally with like the people around here in West Michigan area that I'm trying to get over to the bourbon side, you know, or, or whatnot. Um, so just know like it, it really, all you, all the stuff you guys do with each other, you know, and like for me, it, it's, doesn't go unnoticed and bourbon karma is truly real it, it really is oh it's so sweet oh it's so sweet yeah <laughs> dj beacon you're right yeah you're, you're right <laughs> donald rance how you doing archie tyler it's funny you say that because who was it that put on Someone put on um, Instagram today, I think it was a dram for all, that um, whiskey actually does, I forget, I forget the science term it is, but it does something to actually like help your immune system and boost your immune system. So I didn't fact check, like I have no idea, you know. All I know is it's good for the soul, S-O-U-L. That's for sure. I can, I can confirm that, confirm that deep down within me. All right, so Buffalo Trace is just like even more rich, sweet oak compared to the rest. I mean, it's probably the amplified proof, but it's so like ch sweet, sweet cherry forward. It's like a cherry whipped cream is what it smells like, honestly. It's like someone took the whiskey in the barrel, like say they took this benchmark that was in a barrel and they dumped a whole bunch of Splenda packets into it. And like, that's, that's the sweetness that comes through. No need to fact check while well, Levin Whiskey says. <laughs> Not necessary. <laughs> Got that right, Dustin. That's good. More oak always comes through on the palate for me than on the Novus with Buffalo Trace. Mm. Nailed it, Jason. Nailed it. What happens when you get bit by a tick and you have coronavirus? Corona with lime, L Y M E. <laughs> I see what you did there. Ah, oh, it's delicious. It's why this is like my one of my um, daily drinkers is Buffalo Trace Store Picks. It's because of that. It's just it's it's good proof. You know, it's not too hot, not too cool. It's it's ninety five. And, um, every one's a little different too. You know, you drink a little bit different bourbon every time you, you drink it. Oh, Trevor Wilson and, uh, Scary Pooper's got some OGD 114 because it's so tasty. I always get so much cinnamon in that. So much cinnamon. Welcome back, Linux Cap. Got the old wife taken care of. Good work. Good work. Mmm. I don't know. I like Buffalo Trace, too. I do. Um, we're already halfway through, man. I've been talking way too much. We gotta, we gotta get to pouring here. Now we can go on to Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. Now, this is a store pick. Um, store picks very, very rarely pop up here. I actually had to get this off of someone else who was able to get a couple and I paid a little more than I wanted to. Not terrible, terrible, but I mean, it was about 45, 50 bucks. America. Um, but I think the, the Eagle Rare store picks I've had, um, have been better. You know, I've gone through multiple bottles of regular Eagle Rare. And, you know, they're all single barrel. Still. Um, 
they are, um, you know, they, they don't clean the lines between dumping barrels and moving to the next one. So that's why it's not single barrel anymore. Technically small batch, but um, still got the 10 year age statement on the back of the bottle. And the picks are still single barrel. You know, you're still picking the barrel for single barrel stuff. So, damn, Anthony got a store pick for $29.99. Jason Coates says his last Eagle Row bottle was pretty bad. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Donald, you like that? Donald, you can, you can appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Dalton, I do have an Infinity bottle. Um, it's I don't drink it often, though. It's literally been sitting there for probably two years now. So, thank you, Mike. Uh, Mike said, go ahead and hit that like button. I would appreciate that if you guys could hit that like button. It does help a lot. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, the the Eagle Rears I've had have been pretty consistent. So, I don't know. I mean, it, again, they're, like you said, they're single barrel. So, you definitely could have got a bad bottle. That happens. You know, it really does happen. So Douglas Papa, how you doing? Thank you for uh, coming in, brother. He's got uh, Eagle Rare right behind the Buffalo Trace. Interesting. Um, I'd say availability, Buffalo Trace is still ahead of Eagle Rare in general, like around the country. Pretty much even here, virtually the same price. Eagle Rare is a little more expensive. Honestly, it depends on the day, though. It, it honestly just depends on the day. John Rang Ephos asks, uh, how long did it take you to get all that in the background? The, the bottles? <laughs> this is multiple years of collecting at this point now, like three years. Um, but like, as you can see behind me, this is the single barrel shelf. So th these are all the, the whiskeys that are going to be included in um, my single barrel head to head in honor of March Madness, the Battle of the Bourbons. I wish I could show you the image. <laughs> it's broken. It's all broken. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so these are, there's a lot of single barrels here. I mean, a lot of single barrels. I have, I have, I have all of round one filmed already. So, but I, they were all completely blind, which was really, really cool. All 16. So I didn't know. I mean, obviously when, by the time round four came, I know what I had had and didn't, but <laughs> how many bottles are actually three years old? Uh, it depends if my wife's watching this or not. Um, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> I, uh, not a lot. Uh, it's, um, I, I, I tend to either drink or share, you know. Um, now that I'm doing this diet, whole diet thing, I'm only really drinking two or three days a week, which is, which is good. You know, it's good anyway for that, but, um, if I get to a point where I'm at like the end of a bottle or getting close to the end of a bottle, I try to sample it out to people locally, either that, or I'll put it in my infinity bottle. Like I said, I don't drink my infinity bottle that much. So <laughs> Andrew Kelly said, was it done blind or ADHD whiskey blind? No, no one can do ADHD whiskey blind. Like ADHD whiskey can do it. Scott, how you doing? Good to see you, brother. Richard Blancas. Thanks for coming in. Um, no, it was blind. So I had Mrs. Bourbon saying actually put them in sample. I, I put them in sample bottles, all 16. And then she um, randomly chose four and lined them up, you know. So we did that four times. And I it was way more fun for me that way, being completely blind. I mean, I, I knew what one of 16 could be, but you're not going to guess one of 16. I mean, I, I couldn't. So Joseph Zeidner, how you doing, brother? Ah. <sighs> I know, Michael J. Yeah, you've been here a long time. I, I really appreciate it. Almost at 4,000. Yeah, we had a couple good videos. You know, our Whiskey of the Year Awards was a good video. Um, whiskey on your shelf. I'm hoping the um, the Battle of the Bourbons Best Single Barrel does well. You know, there's going to be multiple blind tastings, and it's a lot of work actually editing all those. So I hope you guys like it. I really do. We're approaching. You know, I, I can't compete with, with Jason and the Bourbon Junkies, but... Um, it's, I'm having a great time. You know, th this is my favorite part of all the whiskey tube is this right here. Like doing the live streams with you guys, hanging out, chatting, you know, it's, it's what I love. Like if I could just do this every week, I would, but it's fun to get new bottles too. It gives me an excuse to buy whiskey still, you know, you know, 
<sighs> that's that's good. So that this is not as much sweet sweetness oak as what's in the Buffalo Trace. Why does that smell like a cin cinnamon now? I got cinnamon on the mind again. Cinnamon cherry now. Cinnamon cherry on Buffalo Trace. A little bit of almond maybe. Anyone? Yeah, Richie, you're exactly right. There's no, I mean, almost no trolls in the, the whiskey community. And if I ever get a comment on a video that's like a troll comment, it's like I've never seen their name before. It's someone who just came in and watched the video and was like, whatever. You know, you guys, you guys are literally just all awesome. And we all look out for each other. I mean, we, we all have the same mindset, which is awesome. It really is. But yeah, this uh, the single barrel definitely has more, it tastes older, which, you know, Buffalo Trace is eight years-ish, and this is 10. So it should have a little more age, but it definitely doesn't have the, the sweetness. I think that sweetness has been mellowed out a lot by, by age, you know? Yeah, Dustin trolls all the time, but I just expect that, you know? And he's nice about it. He's nice about his trolling. <laughs> he's a nice troll. <laughs> That's right, Trev. You are right. Hmm. I think... I'm trying to remember, but I'm pretty sure when I was at Buffalo Trace and I was doing the tour, someone asked the question about um, Eagle Rare. And the, the tour guide told us that most of the Eagle Rares have actually been aged on the lower levels of the Rick House. So even though it's got a 10-year age statement... It's it doesn't age as much because it's on the lower levels. You know what I mean? It's not at the top of the Rick houses. There's Joseph coming up with his troll. Dickle, dickle, dickle. <laughs> we do have our trolls after all. Gotta pay the troll toll. <laughs> uh, John Rengifo asks, um, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, buddy. He says, ironic you would ask this what would you recommend to your wife trying to get her into bourbon i don't have a fucking clue honestly because everything i give her she hates and spits out so everyone else in chat will be able to help you a lot more um they hate everything she hates everything i give her I give her wood for double oaked i give her i give her gold i give her the world i don't know dream how you doing brother the wrench Irish, Irish is a great suggestion. William, that, that is a great suggestion. A little Red Breast 12. Not the cast strength, just the regular Red Breast 12. I think that's a, a great option. I gave, you know, um, Irish, good to see you. The, um, sorry. Um, I gave Angel's Heaven to my wife and she did not like it either. The, uh, to be fair, my bottle is actually pretty oaky though. I don't get much poured on it at all. So it's not that sweet. Yeah, Nick Foles, you're, you're right. A lot of people love it because of that. I know. I should just do that. I should make it super sweet. Put a whole bunch of simple syrup in there. A whole bunch of just cherry and orange. You know, I just just make it good. Mm. Uh, Linux Cat, she actually liked it more than... She liked the, the Papa's Pilar rum and the tequila more than the Buffalo Trace and, and the Jim Beam Black. So she just says, oh, something about bourbon. It's just something about the bourbon. I, I don't like it. I don't think she likes the oak, the oaky notes at all and the, the alcohol burn, you know. But I've given her, I mean, she was complaining so much about the low proof stuff. Like I gave her Jefferson's Ocean Weeded, which is low proof, 90 proof, Woodford Double Oaked. I said, you know what? Screw it. I went and grabbed her Booker's, and I was like, maybe she's gonna be the one that'll just like Booker's. You know, like she'll be the one that loves the high proof, and I that'd be great. You know, that'd be great. So I get her the Booker's, and I'm like, here, try this. See if you like this instead. You know, and keep in mind there were ice in these because I was trying to push her into it for a, you know, just gently. And literally, she takes the Booker and she goes, Aah! and she's like, starts retching more than like I've ever seen it. I was like, what? Like, is this bad? And I went, I took, took it and I was like, what's wrong? And I, no, it's just bookers. <laughs> it's just bookers. <laughs> but you hear about people all the time that are like, that are like, oh, my wife just went right for cast strength stuff or went right for barrel proof. And I'm like, 
All right, let's try it. You know, let her rip. Nope, didn't happen. Didn't happen at all. Lesson learned. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I chose the wrong barrel proof. Maybe it's Booker's. That's probably it. You know, I'll give her some. I'll give her some uh, 136 proof Elijah Gray barrel proof. That that'll that'll do the trick. That'll do the trick. Ah. All right. Um. Let's move on to bottle number four in our. No, that's not right. Bottle number five in our Mash Bill One Blind Flight Night. Um, E.H. Taylor. Now, E.H. Taylor is obviously, uh, there's a whole bunch of expressions. Oh, this is a tight cork. Ah, America! I can't help it now. Like, I just want to do all the time thanks to, thanks to Matt. Much darker now. Ah, yeah. That tight cork, baby. Um... Small batch, single barrel, straight rye, tornado survivor, four grain, amaranth grain of the gods. There's a whole bunch of them. Barrel proof. Oh. Oh. Honest Charlie says his wife hits the double oak pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. Christian C, how you doing? His wife uh, hates most scotches but loves the Ben Nevis 10. Yep. Um, so E.H. Taylor gives me even more bright, citrusy, fruity notes normally, you know, just in general, even the barrel proof is much sweeter to me than like, say, uh, a George C. Stag. you know, I think E.H. Taylor barrel proof is the closest thing to a BTAC. Uh, at least I had the 18 and the, um, and the 17. I have not tried the sample of the 19 yet. But it, it's 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 close. Like it is close to BTAC to me. I think that's that's one that's just on the cusp. Um, hmm. Wheel says uh, has Taylor always been mash bill one? Yep. He he had a whole bunch of dusties the other day um, for bottle and bond day. He has an amazing lineup. Um, people should check that out on Discord or Whiskey Tribe. I know you posted it on there too. I don't know. So back when it was actually like Old Taylor Distillery, I, I don't. That'd be a question for Jason. He'd probably know better than me. Um, if you're still here, Jason, I know you're setting up for your live probably. But um, yeah, old. I would think they probably fudged with the mash bills a little bit. I I don't remember hearing anything specifically about E. H. Taylor. Like, oh, this is the bourbon we're trying to replicate from back in the day. You know, I don't remember hearing that. A local girl says the E.H. Taylor small batch was just a stronger small batch to me. I mean, that, that's a good way to put it, and it's pretty much true. You know, it, it's just a barrel-proof E.H. Taylor. It is. Um, but I really like it. I really like it. Uh, I don't know. It's it's one of those those top top notch for me. Dustin, that's our very own D.H. Silva in the chat came with the super chat. Thank you, buddy. Because you haven't had enough tonight. I think you're talking about the whiskey. Um, I, I can't play my super chats anymore, brother. I'm sorry. I can't next live stream. Remind me. And if it's fixed, I'll, <laughs> I'll play, I'll play some hopefully new ones for you. I can't, I can't play anything. I won't do the, uh, the Fortnite dance or anything like live. I, I, I won't, I won't put you through that again. I know you love that one. Thank God. My wife doesn't like bourbon. I couldn't have her burning through my stash. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know. But, but I bet you she gives you a lot more permission to buy new bottles because you, then you can experiment together. Mm? Yeah, right now it's just a struggle every day trying to get a bottle. I mean, literally every bottle I bring home is free. Like someone from the channel hooked it up for me. Every single bottle I bring home. It's all from the channel. Like you guys are just so kind. Every single bottle that I bring home, the channel has provided me. Thank you. Thank you all. You're literally, you guys are literally my jail out of, get out of jail free card. Even though it's not always true. I would never lie to my beautiful wife. I never would. I do the, I do the finances though. <laughs> Dalton asks, what's your most recent purchase? Oh man. Good question. Um, 
Holy cow, I don't know. Um, I picked up a couple store picks. I think probably the Weller Foolproof is my most recent one, I'd say. Uh, I got it at a tasting a little while ago. And it was just delicious. Uh, d delicious. Um, I picked up, I actually picked up a brand new Knob Creek Rye. Because I did this in my um, best budget rye whiskeys. So I picked up a new bottle of that, but that's not really rare or anything. I did get a, a two Knob Creek single barrel rye picks too, which was awesome. I I'm a rye whiskey guy too. I'm just I'm just a whiskey guy. I think in general. Um, Scary Peeper came into the super chat too. Cheers! Thank you for being a leader in this awesome community. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I I would consider myself a leader, but I just love whiskey. So you know, thank you. I really appreciate that. You're getting a super chat next next uh, next live stream too. Don't let me forget. You guys are all getting. New super chats. Now I'm gonna have to put together some new, <laughs> some new super chats. <laughs> I appreciate it though. Eric, wait. How are you, brother? How are you? Thanks for coming in, Eric. I, I gotta say I loved your. I know you. I know you took a lot of shit for your coronavirus episode, but I really liked it. For you, you're in California where you're in the thick of things down there. I mean, you're allowed to make the jokes. That's what I say. That's what I say. I thought it was great. You get a super chat. You get a super chat. You get a super chat. We all get super chats. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. The alcohol's reaching that point. Uh, we got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Let's go into our last one. I didn't give a damn single tasting note on E.H. Taylor, but it's literally just fresh fruits. When I think like Elmer T. Lee, I think pear, peach, citrus, like orange peel. But E.H. Taylor gives me those same type of notes. Not as, I mean, there's a, a little bit more of a bite at the end of the palate on Mashbill 2 stuff, I think. Um, I really do, so. But it's delicious. Delicious. I know this is tough to find, but if you can get this at 40 bucks, it's an instant pickup. Instant pickup all day. Bernie D also came in the super chat. Thank you, man. Bernie, you're already, you don't need to do that, man. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, it only takes time to grow the channel. Your time is coming. Keep grinding. Thank you. Thank you. Really means a lot. You get a super chat next, next live stream. You get one. <laughs> All right. Time to go on to the big boy. The big boy. This is the semi, I'll say semi crown jewel of Mash Bill 1. Um, the, I'll say the attainable, attainable crown jewel. Uh, well, I, it's not even really attainable. We were talking about this earlier on Discord too. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, EH there's a butterscotch bomb to me. You know, and it's weird you say that because the first bottle I had of this it was nothing but butterscotch. This bottle, there's like no butterscotch. It's just that fruity sweetness, which is really weird. I, I don't know why, but. Dustin, you're right. I mean, you you could be right. Um, for me, I, I have to know kind of when, like that this is the week that it might be coming and I'm able to find a bottle or two, but it's not every batch. Like I can find, I got a batch 13 this year, no batch 12. Um, I got a batch 11 last year, no 10 or something like that. Um, so I, it, I'm the same way, um, USMC tech, I have the, um, batch 13, not open. I want to, I want to work through this 11 first, if I can, I, I'll get impulsive and open it one night. I'm sure, you know, honest, Charlie just picked up an EH Taylor small batch. Excellent. It's worth a crack brother. I mean. No peer pressure or anything, but it's worth a crack on Buffalo Trace Mash Bill one night. I exactly, William. You're right. Attainable some places, some places not. Whew. This has got a little bit, a little bit of heat on the nose, it stings the nostrils, burn that hair, throw some chest hair. Linux Cat also came in with a super chat. Thank you. Most recent purchase was a E.H. Taylor rye. Gonna have a pour of that now. 
Keep trying, keep trying with Mrs. Bourbon saying she'll find her jam. I will, man. I, I've got a lot of options for her, you know? Like, I've got a lot of options. So, I, I don't know. She wanted to go away from bourbon because she was just worried about it, but, you know, I think Old Forester Single Barrel might be a good option. You know, very banana-y, very fruity, easy to drink, not that high proof. Maybe some Jack Daniels Barrel Pearl. Ah, uh. oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, that make a grown man cry in the best of ways, in the best of ways. Um, it's hot, it's fruity, it's chocolatey, it's oaky, not okay, it's oaky. And it's delicious. It's got legs or days. There you go, wheels. The mash and drum came through as he always does. Supposedly, the original Old Taylor bourbon was a bit higher in rye. The H. Taylor bottle bond is lower in rye, less than 10% when released. Yep. There you go. I knew Jason would know, or he'd at least be able to find the answer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Whew. John, ugh. bourbon or Tennessee whiskey? It's technically Jack Daniels barrel proof Tennessee whiskey. Um, I know. I know. I know the argument about Tennessee whiskey versus bourbon. I, I know. Um, I still call it bourbon. I still call it bourbon. I do. Um, all right, I'll let her try that one. I actually haven't opened that yet, Linux Cat, and I've been dying to open that. That's my excuse to open it, I guess. The thing is, like, Jack Daniels and Tennessee whiskeys, they charcoal mellow before they go into the barrel. Um, I think with, like, Heaven Hill products, like, I have a Heaven Hill green label. This white label also on the side says charcoal filtered. Now, I think the charcoal filtering happens after it's already aged. I think. I, I think. So that's why, I mean, I, I call it bourbon because it meets all the requirements of bourbon. It's from Tennessee, so it's technically a Tennessee whiskey. I acknowledge that. I think you're you're not wrong either way you say it. You know, there's a huge debate on the internet community about this, but I think we can all just be friends and drink our Tennessee bourbon whiskey. It's, it's delicious. That's all that matters. It's just delicious. It's delicious. Mm. Yep, you're right, Bernie. They filter before they go into the barrel, whereas Heaven Hill and other companies that do use the charcoal filtering, it happens after. So that's the difference. Um, It's not bourbon, but only by choice. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, actually. Oh, man. You, Anthony, you definitely have to try that. You definitely have to. 135 proof. Yeah. Get her done. Get her done. Thank you, John. Cheers to you, too. Cheers to all of you for hanging out. Happy Wednesday. You know, we're going to be wrapping up here in just a little bit. Um, if someone could please drop a link to Jason's chat, we'll all click that and get ready to head over because it's going to be a lot of fun with him and, uh, him and Matt. I'm looking forward to watching that. I just love Stag Jr. I just wish this bottle was more attainable. You know, when people start, when the bourbon craze is over, I think it's going to really, there's going to, they're going to have so much damn whiskey and it's going to be available again. You know, it's going to be available again. Uh, Killer Joel, I didn't do these blind, but Stag Jr. won, hands down. <laughs> it definitely just won. Thank you, my beautiful moderators. Thank you very much. Maybe she'll like this one. 
Maybe Mrs. Bourbon's gonna like this one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a chocolate covered cherry. It's just a hot one. A very hot one. It's Andrew Sproul. It's, it's drinkable. It is drinkable. For like a, a $10, $12 bottle, it is drinkable. But it's... I'd rather not. <laughs> it's drinkable, but I'd rather not. Like, it, it, okay, I just was drinking Stay Junior and I went down to a, ha something almost half the proof, so... Nick Foles, I wish. I wish and not have to pay an arm and a leg for it. That'd be nice. Come on. Patrick Fulmer came with a last minute super chat. Rock on, Chris. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Cheers to all of you. Um, I appreciate y'all hanging out. Another really fun Whiskey Wednesday. Maybe next week I'll try to find a, a distillery that is more findable, like Heaven Hill. Or, um, I don't know. What are some other distilleries? Wild Turkey. <laughs> We can find a shit ton of wild turkey products, especially right here. Let's all head over to Jason's. Um, I got to figure out how to turn my stream off now that my mouse thing wasn't working. So uh, I might be here a little bit still just dinking around, but let's all head over to Jason's. Keep an eye out. I'm thinking this Saturday for episode number one in our uh, best single barrel bourbons blind flight. Uh, you guys don't want to miss that. And please don't miss that. If you haven't already, please like this live stream and please do hit the bell notification so that you guys know when I go live and when I put out my episodes, okay? Thank you all. I love you all. Have a great night. Stay insane, guys. I'm going to go walk over here and I'll try to turn this off.